Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Movie Pod. Welcome back to another night. Um, to another night of the Movie Pod. My name's Isaac, your host here at this movie and television podcast. And I'm joined, as always, uh, by Joseph. Joseph, the podcast. So how are you doing tonight, Joseph? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Actually, I, I wanted to correct you, though. I think I'm the host, but... um. Yeah, my bad. You're the it's host. my podcast now. Remember yeah. when um, remember when you died and um, I took I, over? You're actually an I, AI voice. I remember that. My yeah, it, this is an AI. My little screen on the uh, left is AI generated. This is an AI generated voice. AI is going crazy, and um, I'm proud to say that I am an AI. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the, you know, did AI you sign up is, for um the Elon Musk micro trip? I did. Like in all serious, I didn't sign up for it. Because you can't. Um, but I am getting the Elon Musk chip. In all seriousness, the, uh, what is it called? The uh, the, the, the chip Elon Musk is making, um, whatever the hell it's called. I forget what it's called. You put it into your head. You put it and, into um, your brain. and it downloads It's basically your phone. In, it's basically it, a cloud. It's, 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 a f- it's like iCloud. Yeah. yeah. And it downloads all your memory, your data, onto the chip. So then when you do pass away, put the chip into a new brain. Boom, you're, you're, oh. you're reborn. I thought it was more like um. I don't know if that's how it works. I'm assuming that, but I know it just keeps all your data, which is a bit scary. Yeah, I thought it was also Elon more Musk. so um, like a phone. Like, uh, they said something. Like, yeah, you could have like Spotify in, in it, so you don't need earphones. You just the, 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 the... <laughs> yeah, and then um. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I saw a thing where it was on um. I thought it was, it was, like it was just... a podcast, and they were like instant. Uh, it was like a cellular thing where you can just go online. Was it Elon Musk? And um, instant ask it. Instant, instant access. If it's not Elon Musk things, it's something basically the same. That's... Cr- what the frack? I thought it was a thing that makes you, like, um, immortal, kind of. It's called Neuralink. That's what it's called. Neuralink. Yeah, uh, that's it. Genera- uh, generalized brain interference to restore... Or- yeah. Unlock human potential. Yeah, that's what it is. And that's it fights wild. diseases. You get it implanted into your brain. How? How does it fight diseases, it bro? That's diseases. wicked. So, it will um, restore... Software restore update. You have a virus. You have a virus. You have a virus. This is crazy. You just get the, um, you just get the Microsoft error sound whenever you have a virus. Like the sticky keys tab. You can actually join Neuralink's patient registry. Wow. Are you going to do that, buddy? You can only join the mailing list. Elon Musk has it ready to be, like, out by 2025. That's... Oh, no, you can start your application. That is cool. Oh, my God. Are you currently a legal adult? No, I'm not. So, what were <laughs> Yeah, so you can't actually sign up. following diseases? No. Next what are the following diseases? Oh, let me get it. I'm going to butcher these, but... Quadratropelia, paraplegic, visual impairment... Or blindness. Oh no! I didn't. <laughs> Visual impairment or blindness. Um, as as perceives. I I can't. I'm putting Asperger's. It. I don't know. Or the in inability to speak or hearing impairment or or deafness. Damn. Oh mate, your application cannot be submitted at this time with three, but you must be at least over eighteen to be eligible for the patient registry. Yeah. Well, guys, damn. Two years away until I'm eighteen. Uh, I'm gonna become a mortal, and the movie pod is going to live, gonna live on. on forever, bro. I'm gonna come back to this episode in a thousand years when I'm a thousand and sixteen years old. I'm gonna be like, this is when I was just talking about on the chip, and here I am. I'm miserable in life, and I just want to take the chip out of my brain and freaking die already. Because who wants? To when I'm just an EMP this? goes off, and your brain just fries, and you yeah. bloody died. I would. Damn. If like, would be such I a good would, terrorist. The max age I would want to live. Is probably two hundred and fifty. I yeah, living two lifetimes. I think I, I will it assume. That's like. Three. Well, are you talking about is everybody going to live to that age or just well, life you? expectancy is going up in healthy yeah. countries every year just because medical needs are being met and all. That. Except America. Except America the life expectancy, I think, has gone down. That's because of all the t- t- this bullshit they have. Like that, and it also has the highest that. obesity rate. Yeah, that. Um, bro, we're going to become like Wally, bro. Earth is going to get destroyed. And we're going to be living in space in big freaking spaceships 
in freaking chair. Everyone's going to be fatty in chairs that move around by themselves. That's what humanity is going to be like one day. I'm sorry, and I don't want to yeah. plan for that. You know, once that starts happening, I'm like, okay, my time on Earth was great. Now it's time to cark it. To um, cark it. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Okay. But we... we I, I would love to just create a podcast where we just talk about all things. Yeah. You know what we could call it? <laughs> all things podcast. I'm joking. I don't want to talk about... Oh, my things. God. No. The movie podcast... The movie podcast is... It's the dream podcast, but like talking about like astronomy and this kind of stuff. Elon Musk's stuff is cool. Could like oh, I'm a Sagittarius. Podcast. Yeah, like just astronomy is sick. One of my favorite topics. Um, yeah. But anyway, back to Star Wars. Back to back to the freaking movie talk. Um, um, Star Wars. Breaking news. This morning I woke up. You know, I click on my Twitter as I do to see all the. People who have replied to my comments that I pissed them off the night before. Anyway, I opened it up. And there's <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> what did you do the night before? I am. Um, all things. Uh, the movie pod. We changed our logo to. Um, yeah. Men, uh, Men's Mental Health Month because June is Men's Mental Health Month, and I don't see enough people talking about it, so I'm trying to help spread the word. Uh, yes, of course. And some people don't like. It's very serious. It's also Pride no. Month, but like, I mean. Uh, I'm not gay, but I am a man, so. Um. Yeah, you feel I think free to I, speak I, what you. Yeah, uh, if, I'm not. Wait, I'm a phobic, transphobic, whatever you want to like, label us as. But I'm. It's kind of like how white people got in trouble for uh, for uh, Black Lives Matter. Like it's not. I we appreciate yeah. you for your help, but it it, it yeah it, it, it's kind of like, like I'm, why are you doing it now? So I'm not gonna. I, I support sh- gay rights, but I'm not yeah. gonna. I. I Mental I'm not health is protest about it. Like I much rather support men's mental health on this than pride because a, it's a, a problem that we face. Your pride, like good on you, you do you. Yeah. But just touching on um from the- theory posted in his Discord today, someone from his gaming channel who like games with theory a lot. Um, he's a he's a great guy. He's, uh, he was such a funny guy. Um, in the gaming community, he played many games with theory. Um, always in Theory's Arcade's chat, always saw him there, and he took his life this week. Um, oh. Theory was, yeah, Theory uh, yeah. alerted us all on Discord, but, you know, to hear that, and, and this month is literally Men's Mental Health Month and nobody's talking about it, um, I, I see no. lots of companies changing their logo to support Pride Month, which, you know, that's what you want to support, sure, but Men's Mental Health, I think, is significantly more in important um i don't you know they're, they're both important pride month and men's mental health month but when you put them side by side men's mental health never gets talked about and uh, never gets talked about and um then shit like that happens and it's fucked up yeah um there was a um rainbow six siege youtuber who was very loved in the community icy cat he um i think it was two years ago he passed away uh, he, he killed himself and um mm. it kind of st- the entire Rainbow Six community kind of um, was kind of hurt by it because he he was such a good creator, and um, I remember that pretty pretty well because yeah, he was um he was a very well loved and and just stuff like that. Yeah, it's so you know I thought I would change our logo just to you know show support that you know this month is for us. It's our month. It's yeah. It's um. <sighs> If they want to change Pride Month to a different month, change Pride Health Month to a different month, then sure. But in all honesty, I, I don't want to get into this too much. I, I don't want to get into the drama. But in all honesty, I don't believe that it is a need for Pride Month. Maybe a Pride Week. But I know this is a big debate people put up against each other. Like, people that fought in the army in the World Wars, they get, like, one day a year to celebrate, at least here in Australia, which is Anzac Day. Um, yeah. And then you have Pride Month, so you get a whole month to support, you know, coming out and um, coming out as gay, trans, lesbian, LGBTQ. Whatever plus. you identify as. Yeah. Um, like, I know that can be hard for some people. Some people aren't accepting, but a whole month and, you, you know, some of them shove it in people's faces. But I don't want to get into it. 
That's just my thoughts. And if you just want to discuss it in the DMs, DM me on Instagram. Remember, I'd be discussing with you guys. I, I don't want to argue. I just, you know, give my point of view on it all. But anyway, 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 anyway. So Star Wars. Let's okay. Let's let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The new updates. So this morning, as I said, I woke up to the new updates, and they are. Uh, they're not big. Marvel's had a lot more um, film updates this morning. Same with Avatar, which we'll make a video on. But the Star Wars ones, there have been a yeah. few delays. Maybe a cancellation. Shocker. Yeah, shocker. And I don't understand. So, I'll go through the new updated Star Wars movie releases right now. So, May 22nd, 2026. Just under three years away. May 22nd, 2026, Ray's new Jedi Order film will be released in theaters. That same year, just seven months later, December 18, 2026, Dave Filoni's Head of the Empire film will be released in theaters. And it is currently now unknown um, when James Mangold's Dawn of the Jedi film will release. However, it is expected between 2027 and 2028. So we could be getting two films. We're getting two films in 2026. And then James Mangold's Dawn of the Jedi is now expected between 2027 and 2028. However, that's just what we think. Speculation. Speculation. I'm not surprised it got delayed. I mean, the writer, they can't write right now. The writer strikes on. So they can't. <clears throat> I think it's good that they're pausing it. And they're not going ahead with their unfinished script. Because that would be something they would do. So I'm glad they've paused it. They're waiting till the writer strikes over. And then they'll continue with the script. And then... So it could be delayed further. Um, and also last time they had a film released six months apart was Last Jedi and then Solo. And that was not good And we me. know how good both those movies were. Solo absolutely bombed at the box office. And the fact they're doing this again. Ray's new Jedi Order film. The first one out of the new movies to come out. It's automatically going to do very good. It's going to lose a little bit because it's a ray, but it's auto automatically going to do very good because Star Wars is back in cinemas since 2019, so it would have been seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Wow, dude. Damn, time goes fast. It's been five years already. No, three. Five, four, four years already. And so I don't like seven, that. You'll be seven years um, without no Star Wars movie until Ray's one, so it's automatically going to do good just because of that. And then if Ray's movie's bad, six months later, Dave Filoni's Head of the Empire movie will come out, which is going to blow us away. I already know it's Dave Filoni. will be the best Star Wars movie since 2005, or 100%. Um, and then if that does bad, that's a very bad look for Dave Filoni's um, movie debut. Yeah. Very bad look. Very bad look for his characters. And it's just because if the Ray movie's disappointing, it's going to affect Dave Filoni's movie. And that is very scary. I hate that. I hope I, I wish they would swap it around, have Dave's first. Because Dave's is going to be amazing. It's just going to be. And Yeah, it's as um, simple as that. Yeah. And so if it and as we discussed, the box office, uh, that won't look good. As we discussed the other night, I don't know if I don't recall if we were recording or not, but um Disney are in debt. Yes, they are. Yeah, we were. We and did. Yeah. Yeah. Talking and about they yeah. yeah, they can't um they can't really afford, assuming that they still have Lucasfilm at that point, um, they can't afford to risk the the potential of one movie yeah. because of another movie doing poorly. So um, it's, yeah, it's a big it's, swing and a miss. If, and out of, like, the first movie might, will always do well. Yeah. It'll do fantastic. But if that movie critically doesn't do well like it'll sell and it'll make their box office i have 100 yeah, percent um confident definitely. that the first star wars movie will make a bill yeah but six months later as you said history has told us if it if, will influence yeah. it yeah it especially will. now the reason solo bombed is because the last fans were upset about the last jedi and so if the ray movie is terrible even casual fans, us hardcore fans are going to yeah. see them either way, but the casual fans, they go see the Rain movie in May, and then six months later, there's a new Star Wars movie already, like six months. That's going to go fast and back. Yeah. Oh, there's another Star Wars movie out, but I uh, didn't really enjoy the other one, so I'm not going to go see it. 
exactly what happened to and Solo. I guarantee you, as you said, casual viewers, I guarantee you that these movies will already um, struggle because of yeah. how poor Mandalorian was. Yeah. Um, that was a casual viewing show, yeah. and because season three did so poorly, these movies will also uh, struggle from it now because you couldn't be a casual fan in, in, the, in the 80s, right? If you watch the first one, you didn't need to watch anything else yeah. to... Exactly. To you. Like, if you watch the first one, if you watch New Hope, you could watch the other one. That's fine. You didn't have to watch all these other shows around it. Where now, if you're a casual fan and you watch one piece of content and you don't like that piece of content, the rest of it may, might be tainted as a casual fan. Yeah. So, so Disney will already have repercussions from Mandalorian doing poorly. Um, yeah. Ahsoka will do better, but as we've discussed before, um, Ahsoka will probably uh, struggle now because of Mandalorian Season 3. Um, I have a feeling Season 3 of Mandalorian also did poorly because of Boba Fett and Obi-Wan. So yes. it's all a big... It's all a big... Um, like... Once one thing's bad, the, it, it, yeah, dominoes It's a effect. ripple effect. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, these movies will already struggle, which means we need amazing content from now till then yeah. to bring back one that... their funds to a fan base in which that will stick with them yeah and i don't know if we're gonna get that ahsoka i, I believe i believe so we'll be fine but well, we don't know else. a lot about skeleton crew and acolytes well yeah we we already discussed yeah. acolytes and that ray movie ray being the first one that is so risky that film it's already turning away a lot of people. But it's going to do numbers, it will. But then if they have to do something crazy in that film, they have to do something amazing of that film, they have to make that film amazing. Yeah. And it, it being a Ray film is automatically already so hard. Because if it's bad, they fall on his head of the Empire film is not going to do good. Unless they put Leia, Han, and James Young. And James Mangold. Yeah, James Mangold. I don't think that movie's happening. If Indiana Jones flops, James Mangold's movie's not happening. I guarantee you. And the fact and they yet, took it off the slate and made the date unknown. The date's unknown now. It was set for 2027. It's now unknown, but we expect it between Could just mean that it's delayed. Yeah, very well could be. Um, but I don't... I, I, like, out of them all, Dawn of the Jedi is probably the most um, interesting one out of the three films. One I'm most looking forward to is Dave's, obviously. But I think the only way Dave... If the Ray movie's bad, the only way Dave's movie would do good is if they put young... Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Leia Organa in the trailer. And so, yeah. like, old fans are like, oh my god, they're young again. They're bringing them back. They're doing them justice. I didn't like, you know, the 7, 8, and 9 they did with again, those characters. They like, might they also recast. not like that they're bringing back legacy characters either. Yes. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation. And it's like, same with they recast. Um, there's a lot of rumors going around right now, which we will probably make an episode on um, sometime in the near future. But there's a lot of rumors about the legacy characters being recast, not going with deep fake. I much prefer the deep fake, but we'll talk about that in a separate episode. And then a year later, James Mangold's film could release twenty twenty seven or twenty twenty eight. And yes. Sorry. Also, Disney had a deal with Kathleen Kennedy. If she wasn't <laughs> able to get a movie a Star Wars movie out by twenty twenty five, she was gone. So does that mean she's gone? Or are they giving her slack because the writer's strike is currently going on? I don't know. No, well, is the writer's strike going on because of her? No. Like, it all, it all ties in. Um, to be fair, 2019 yeah. was four years ago now. Yeah, um, wow. Holy crap. And, and I tell you this I get now, if... 20 years between each movie as yeah. Lucasfilm standalone, but as Disney, you need to be doing more. And especially how big Star Wars is now. Like, it's a multimedia yes. franchise. Back then, it was just a... It's on Fortnite. Movie. Capitalize on it, guys. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I I think, I strongly think, Kathleen Kelly just, just turned 70 years old, all right? Happy birthday. Oh, happy geez. belated birthday to you, KK. But, if Indiana Jones flops, which I think it will, I think it very much so will. I don't think James Mangold's Dawn of the Jedi Star Wars movie will happen. 
whether they pass it off to a new director or they scrap that project, which would be disappointing. I also think KK will be retired by the end of the year. I don't think they're going to sack her. They will, you know, she's going to walk out of there like she retired. Because Kathleen Kennedy has been an amazing producer, especially her early days. It's just she hasn't been able to handle the Lucasfilm company very well. But she produced amazing films back in her day. Um, so I think they will just say, oh, she's retired now. She'll have a good, you know, look back on her career. And then they'll get someone new in there. Um, or yeah. because her contract's up at the end of the year. So if they don't renew that, and she's 70 now, she might want to retire. Um, there's like lots of stuff that could, you know, say she's out of there. Unless she really wants to get these films out and maybe redeem herself so people don't hate her for the rest of her life. Um, because, you know, she had a deal. Disney had a deal with the movie by 2025, you keep your job, we will extend your contract. No movie by 2025, you, when your contract ends, you're out of here. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we'll know by the end of the year. We'll know when Indiana Jones comes out later this month because if that bombs... That's not very good. It's going. It's going to bomb. Sadly, it's going to bomb. I don't. Okay. I'm fifty fifty. I want it might it not to be bomb. a bad movie. I want it to. It'll bomb. just won't do well. I want it to bomb, so that means Kathleen will probably be out of there. But I don't want it to bomb because that means if it does bomb, James Harrison Mangold's Ford. film probably won't happen. I feel oh, yes. bad for Harrison Ford. You know his last indie film. So it's really like. 60 40. 40% of me wants it to bomb just so Kathleen can get out of there and then Star Wars has a much brighter future. Or 60% of me says, I don't want it to bomb because I want this Dawn of the Jedi movie to happen and I also want ha- Harrison Ford to be happy. Um, and then same with, you know, I-, I don't want them to destroy another one of George Lucas's creations and Steven Spielberg's. So, we will we will see. End of the month. Only a few, mo- only like two weeks until Indiana Jones. It's got 40-something percent yeah. of Rotten Tomatoes, so... Oh, God. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. No, um, but we also know how, how accurate Rotten Tomatoes is. Yeah, um, Extremely. Course. You know, they gave, what, Last Jedi a 93% Rotten Tomatoes score, so... Yeah. But they're just correct on everything, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We love Rotten Tomatoes. You know, because critics know everything about film, and, you know... Yeah. But that's the updates. That is the updates we have for the yep. next Star Wars movies. Um, what do you guys feel about the delays? Dave's? I don't even know if Dave's got delayed. I don't think it did, because it was always set for December 2026. The Ray one, Daisy yeah. Ridley's Ray New Jedi Order film was set for December 2025. And James Mangold's was set for December 2027, which very well could still happen. Um, but two years within one year, that's a W. I think 2025 is dead stuff. There's nothing in 2025. I think Mando season four in twenty twenty five, and that's probably it, and that will lead us right into Dave's movie. Okay, yeah, I reckon maybe another season of Ahsoka that would be nice. Book of Boba Fett season two is not happening at this stage, um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of these updates. Um, how hyped are you for two Star Wars movies in one year? Think it's a good idea, not a good idea. Um, which Star Wars movie are you most hyped for? Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next episode of the Movie Pod. Um, which will be the Marvel delays. We're going to talk, go over them and talk about those. And yeah, anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one. All right, goodbye. Bye.